I've got a fun one for you today. Today we're going to be talking about story Bibles and how we can make one using an existing book that we already have. Now, if you've been writing and following this channel for a while, you know that a lot of the time when you are creating a book with AI or with anything, you're going to have a lot of byproducts, things like character profiles, story beats, things like that. All of those can be used very effectively when creating a story Bible. But this is a way to do it if you don't have any of those things. And it's a, a technique that you might want to use anyway, because it will allow you to create a specifically tailored structure to story Bibles. Uh, what I'm talking about is this particular method that I'm going to show you today is actually specifically made to help you create story Bibles. We're going to be looking at ChatGPT. And I specifically crafted this prompt for ChatGPT, although you can probably use it in Claude with a similar effect. But this is something that requires a lot of structure and adhering to the rules and doing exactly what I ask it to, which is something that ChatGPT is a little bit better at. And so let's talk a little bit about why we're doing this. So the prompt I have is here, right here. And this is a prompt to condense a book. And by the way, if you want this very Google Doc here, you can actually get this for free by going to my website, storyhacker.ai, and log in, giving me your email address in exchange for this document. And you'll also get a couple of other things as well. You'll be notified for any like special deals or anything like that I do. You'll get a document with some of my frameworks that I use as well as uh, obviously this document with pretty much all of the prompts that I craft specifically for my YouTube videos. So this prompt, why are we condensing a book? I know when a lot of these models, especially Claude, Claude was the, really the first one, came out with models with huge context windows that allowed us authors to put in a whole book in there. We were really excited by this and thought, whoa, we could make an entire summary of our story and then get lore entries and character information and create that story Bible from just putting our book in there. And in the reality, that didn't work very well because the problem with those long context windows, even though technically the AI can handle them, it usually sort of doesn't handle it doesn't process it as cleanly as we would like so if you ask it for a summary it might give you the a summary of the first half or something like that it doesn't usually given you give you an even summary of everything and it can miss a whole lot of things so if you ask it for a summary of a specific character and everything that character goes through very often it misses a few things and so what we have found is that the best way to go about this is to actually summarize each chapter in a specific way that lets you have a much shorter document. It's still a long document, but way shorter than an actual book. And then from that shorter document, you can create really cool lore entries. And we're going to go walk through that process of condensing a chapter in just the right way here with this prompt. So let's actually use it. Let's go into ChatGPT. We're going to use ChatGPT4, although actually this technique works with GPT 3.5 pretty well as well. Both the models that they have here for 4 and 3.5 do have enough context to be able to handle a whole chapter. So this is the prompt. Write a detailed summary of the following book chapter. Divide the summary into the following key areas and structure it in the following way. Plot. Include several paragraphs about the plot of the chapter. That's the most important part. Characters include a bulleted list of every character in the scene and a detailed description of their role with the viewpoint character listed first. Location include a paragraph about the location of the scenes. World building include a bulleted list of any additional world building info. Here is the text of the chapter and then you insert the chapter here. So you can see that I'm specifically making sure we call attention to everything to do with the characters, the location, the world building, and of course the plot because those are all things that are going to be useful tidbits of information when crafting a story Bible. And so we're going to go ahead and grab a chapter. Let's just grab chapter one here of my Heirs of Dracula book, which is still being edited, and just paste in the chapter there, and then hit go and see what it gives us. Okay, and now we, it has given us this beautiful summary of the entire plot. So it says the chapter begins with Mina, a former noble, noble woman, 
Navigating the late night streets of London, no longer fitting the image of a lady, Mina has been transformed into a vampire and now uses her enhanced abilities to track down and confront criminals. So ChatGPT is really good at identifying everything that actually happens and it's able to give me an accurate summary here. And then it gives me information about the viewpoint characters <laughs> and there are only two in this one. So it kind of stretched a little bit. I gave me Mina, of course, and then there's a smuggler. But then there's a mention of a stray cat, so it caught that. And also caught a mention of Dracula, uh, and even points out that he's only mentioned here, not actually in the uh, scene. Gave me a description of the location that we're in, and the world building. And so now, all we have to do is take this, copy, and if you have a document, I just have this chapter set aside here in Atticus where I can put in things like chapter one, just paste that in there. Boom. Now we have information about chapter one. And now if we want, we can get ready and do chapter two. Now this is, I understand, a little bit more tedious than it would be to just put in the whole book and just ask it for a full summary, but it will not give you a summary this detailed. And it won't be that useful for you if you're looking to create a story Bible or anything like that. But you know, it is a tedious process, and so I actually came up with a way to make it a little bit easier. I created a GPT. So the GPT is called Nerdy Novelist Chapter Summary. It is readily available on ChatGPT, and uh, anybody can access it. If you just come here to explore GPTs and search for the Nerdy Novelist Chapter Summary, uh, you can find it there, and I will also link to it down below. But all you have to do, the only thing you have to do is just paste your chapter text in here. So you just go to your chapter. So let's come down to chapter two and I'm not going to put any prompt in there or anything. I just paste the text of the chapter and boom, it's automatically going into the exact same structure where it gives us plot and sooner or later it'll give us characters. Let's give it a second. Yep. We got characters. So that makes it a lot easier, a lot faster to actually get everything that you need here. And then, once you have all of your chapters done, then it's time to move on to the fun part where you can actually create the story Bible. And I will cover that in a separate video because there's a lot to it. Once that video is ready, I will link to it up here. But in the meantime, I will just put a video here that YouTube thinks you are most likely to enjoy. And so go ahead and give that a look. I'll see you in the next video.